I'm Lisa Sanderson with UF IFAS Extension in Sumter County. I'm here today with Let's Talk Gardening. We're going to talk about water sprouts and suckers. I'm standing here by the dwarf mulberry. We've looked at this before in Facebook Live uh, in the past, and so what I'm looking at right now is something called a water sprout. And a water sprout is something that develops from dormant buds. And so this, there are some plants that may be a little more predisposed to putting in water sprouts, those limbs that grow straight up in the air so they, they're not uh, like the normal type of limbs that develop in a plant. And so you can see this one right here that's growing right in the middle of the screen um, coming up there. And so the thing that is a problem with these is that uh, when you are doing heavy pruning, sometimes a plant responds by creating these water sprouts or the limbs that are heading straight up. In fact, many of the limbs that are up in the top of the tree uh, are actually water sprouts that came from that heavy pruning, which happened when it was still dormant. Uh, so they can also come from stress. So some plants may respond uh, with water sprouts due to stress. And that's one of those things that uh, I know from this tree how it came about, but there are trees that will also respond from stress. Um, I had plants that were predisposed uh, in past uh, positions where the trees were predisposed to producing water sprouts. And so that's another thing you want to think about is whether you are dealing with a tree that will produce uh, water sprouts. Now the idea here is that when we realized this was doing it, they should probably have been removed or if you notice the buds were forming, that's when you probably would go ahead and remove. And so where you see these attaching at the stem, you could either have popped off that bud before it started coming up, or um, you could then later cut it off right at the stem where it attaches. And so uh, if it was larger limb, you would be treating it a little differently, but because it's a water sprout, you wanna take it off where it's actually uh, attached to the to the main limb that it's coming out of. All right, so the other thing with these is that um, uh, they can take a lot of energy. So if they're um, a plant that's producing fruit, you're not gonna get fruit off of those water sprouts. So it's just a, um, a lot of uh, energy that's being taken away to put uh, all this growth onto this tree. And so in the big picture, you want to make sure that you are removing that opportunity for water sprouts and being judicious in pruning. So even though something has gotten a bit large, take it back a little bit over time to avoid those water sprouts because a lot of this tree will end up needing to be removed. And so I'm really gonna wait until fall for this particular tree, um, but uh, pay attention to when you're doing some heavy pruning because that can uh, result in the formation of water sprouts. All right, so another plant uh, we're going to look at, and then we are actually going to see a couple of plants that may uh, show this particular thing. This is a Viburnum abovedum. It is, this one's with Lacucci, so great big. Ordinarily it would be a shrub, um, but they limbed it up years ago, and so it's actually a nice tree. Uh, loads, loads of uh, white blooms in the spring but it also is notorious for getting suckers. So these are coming up from the roots. Uh, they are uh, pruned back regularly so that they can um, keep this area clear. But this is one of those plants that produces a lot of sprouts. And so these are, or suckers, um, excuse me, these are suckers that come up from the roots. And so this is something that actually, if they're allowed to grow, will take energy from the main plant. And so that's something that you want to make sure that you are aware of when you're looking at these. And so these can be taken care of. Sometimes I think there's a, a product you can use to help reduce this, but overall what we usually do is come through with a good pair of pruners and remove all the suckers that we can. Um, so these will be taken off at ground level. Um, but you can see that they have uh, produced a lot of suckers. All right, so this is another uh, great tree. So this is a Simpson stopper. You can see the great red berries on it um, that are on these limbs up here. And some of these have, are completely loaded with blooms. They have great exfoliating bark. Uh, but when you look down here, 
you can see that there is a small problem with them having uh, suckers and so these are coming up from the roots uh, and it is taking energy from the main plant and so if you allow these to stay these will just get bigger and bigger so best to remove them when you first see them so another place that where you might find these could be on roses for example uh, won't be quite like this but if you're buying a grafted plant or you have grafted plants in your landscape and something comes up from the base that looks different than the main part of the plant that's another thing that you want to make sure that you remove so uh, grafted roses other sorts of things that have a graft union uh, which may be lower at the ground you want to watch and make sure that the growth doesn't look different than the main part of the plant that you purchased so that would be another problem uh, to watch for in terms of suckers okay so this is crepe myrtle these are in full bloom uh, this crepe myrtle is a, uh, a plant that has never been pruned back hard or a uh, crepe myrtle. And so if you look at the, the base of it, you won't see suckers coming up from this. And so the, for those, those of you that have pruned back your crepe myrtles, you'll know that you'll end up with suckers coming up from the back and a little bit of extra cleanup that you have to do. All right, so I'm looking at the Flatwoods Plum. And so I've uh, one of my favorite trees, especially in the spring, it makes fruit uh, that attract the wildlife. But the other problem with this is that it ends up having suckers. And so you can see the suckers right up there uh, next to the bark. Uh, and so here's the bark of the tree. And right off the bark of the tree, you'll find this uh, group of suckers coming up. And so suckers are a problem because they take energy from the tree and if we were to allow to let those suckers grow, uh, they would start taking more and more energy from the overall tree. So best to prune off suckers and water sprouts that we looked at on the dwarf mulberry uh, when you find them uh, and get them early so they're not such a big thing to remove. Thanks for joining me today for Let's Talk Gardening, taking a look at water sprouts and suckers. Make sure that you remove them when you find them. Thanks for joining us. Let's Talk Gardening, UF IFAS Extension in Sumter County.